Hello, this is Jason with VPN TAC with a video on registering and licensing the FTD via the Smart License Portal being managed by FMC. You first open up FMC, you'll be on the Overview page. You'll click on System, Licenses, Smart Licenses. You click on register if you have the token already. Otherwise, click on the link to the smart portal. Make sure that you're logged into the right account and click on inventory. Once you're inside of inventory, you're going to scroll down and click on new token. Here will pop up a screen where you can configure the device name, the amount of time the license is valid for and make sure that in the bottom you click on the check mark for allow export control functionality for products registered with this token. This will allow you to do any of the cryptograph crypto functions. And then go ahead and cre click create token. A new token will be generated. You can Verify the amount of licenses you purchased by going and clicking on licenses and typing in AnyConnect. You see here that we have 9,700 licenses on this token. We see that 46 of them are in use and 9,654 are still available. This is the amount of devices that have been registered on this account. This is not the amount of users that are currently connected. This again is the amount of devices that you've registered. I'm clicking on the smart token in the little blue box there will pop up the token. I go ahead and copy that token. And then we'll go back to the FMC device. Click on register and paste that token in there and then apply changes. It'll process for just a minute and then it'll come back and the device is successfully registered. You notice that the export control functionalities has been enabled. So we can do any connect and other crypto features. If you'd already registered another device with the FMC, you could click on Edit Licenses and apply the licenses here. Since we haven't yet, we're going to have to go ahead and do that. In order to do so, we'll go ahead and click on Devices. Device Management screen will pop up. And here we'll click on Add Device. We'll put in the IP address. Put in the display name that we want to see on the screen. The super secret key that you use to create this FTD. And then you'll have to apply an access control policy. And then apply. This does take about two or three minutes. I've forwarded through when I was waiting for it to finish. Eventually it will come up and it will show as registered. Now that we're here, go into the device. Underneath interfaces you'll have to configure all your interfaces. You click on device to apply the licenses. On the right hand side you see the pencil by the license click on that and here you'll be able to apply licenses to this device go ahead and apply the any connect plus licenses and hit apply and then you'll see that it's changed to yes after it's been successfully added 
then back in the system licenses smart licenses tab you'll be able to click on edit licenses here and we can modify the licenses or add them if it was the new registration the tabs across the top of the licenses click on any connect plus and this wouldn't be here so we'd click on the left hand side click add and it would show up on the right hand side go ahead and hit apply and that's all there is to register and licensing FMC and FTD thanks for watching Stay tuned for more videos.